Oh, well, hello, Friday. How are ya? Doyle, you coming with me? Come on, buddy. Let's go. It's always such a struggle for him to get out of the bed and leave, leave the room. I don't leave the door open anymore because eh, a while ago, not anytime recently, when I was working and going into the office, so like the beginning of the year, he decided that that was gonna be his poop room. So we don't leave that door open anymore in the house. And I have like something coming in on my nose. I mean, I look like a Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, so like whatever. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but my the tip of my nose is just red today. So it doesn't hurt or anything, so I don't know. Maybe I got a bug bite? I have no idea. It doesn't feel like, you know, like a pimple coming through, but you just never know. You never know. I'm stressed, so you never really know. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. Hold on. Dun, da, 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 my kitchen faucet came in. I got it on Amazon. It was actually quite inexpensive. Um, and this is what it is. It is the, <laughs> look at it, it's the wee wee. <laughs> anyway, I am like three years old. Uh, this is the faucet. I am going to have them install it without the plate. And yeah, that's what it looks like. Well, it's right here, duh. That's what it looks like. And it's got a, like pull down, oh, it's so hard to get into. Oh. It's got like a pull down lever and like snaps back pretty nicely. I actually watched like a couple videos about it and it's got the like little thingamajiggy. Um, yeah, so I wanted to show it to you guys. I know the plastic is still on here, but this is my cabinet hardware and you see how this has like a little bit of like ridging to it, like right around here. And then also it has like the same thing over here and right there. I just thought that it kind of went well with like this, you know what I mean? I mean, I knew it was gonna be like a stainless cause they don't really make, you know, galvanized looking faucets. Or at least they don't make galvanized looking faucets in my price range. So, um, yeah, it was under a hundred bucks. It's got pretty good reviews. So I think I have everything I need. I already hired my plumber. I think I told you guys that. I hired my plumber already and um, got an email from the granite company today wanting me to pay part of my bill. And I said, okay, well things aren't finalized yet because I haven't even been there to look at countertops for the bathroom yet. So I don't really wanna pay for something that I may or may not get. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get one, but you know, just in case. So anyway, just emailed him back and just said like, hey, by the way, um, I haven't even been there yet to look at those. So how about we do that for Wednesday? Um, and then we can just like, I can write him a check or give him my debit card or whatever, so. Anywho, we can do that. But I'm actually on my way to Grammy's house, Doyle's grandma's house. And I'm gonna go over there. I need to help her move her desk in her second bedroom. They are getting a new bed in there. And the bed should be, well, I think the bed was supposed to be coming tomorrow and now it's coming on Tuesday, I think. Anyway, but just wanna get the um, new, placement of the desk that's already existing in the room. And I'm sure some of you guys are probably like, Emily, your dad lives there too. Why doesn't he help? Well, let me tell you, my dad is not a helper of the things. My dad likes to supervise and annoy. That is what he does. Uh, the day I moved out here, which three years ago, the day I moved into this place, I told him if he was going to be rude and condescending that he should leave and I actually forced him to leave. Not in a bad way, he already knew the rules. We've had this conversation for the last, what, how old was I, 37 years or 38 years at the time? This is nothing new, it was nothing new. There's no big blow up, it was just like, you just go, you just go somewhere else. You're not helping, goodbye. Your comments are not helpful, goodbye. Cause he always likes to tell you how you're doing it wrong and what he would do, but he doesn't wanna do it. So it's just like, it gets under my skin and it gets real annoying. I'm sure y'all have people like that in your life too, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, um, yeah, so that's that. You guys are learning like way too much about me today. That's only like a couple minutes in, oh well. Oh well, put the life on the internet, why the heck not? Anyway, I got my bag and I'm off. So I will see you guys 
when I see the favorite mama. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. <gasps> Hi favorite there. mama's here. We are in the uh, guest room slash office of her place, mm -hmm. and we made a space. Ta da! This, the, is, gonna, this is gonna be a, a bed's gonna be there. Full size bed. Yep. So the favorite son will be able to sleep on here, and his true. feet will go off the bed. So yep. um, it'll work out good. Right, and then we moved this uh, office setup uh, from this wall that was over here, and then moved this guy over here. Not sure if this is staying. I think it's gonna stay. Yeah. We'll have to see when the uh, bed comes in. But um, yeah, she got this desk at Ikea a few years ago. Yeah. So working out good. It was actually pretty, I don't know, I think it was kind of easy to move. Wasn't so really the compromise. Yeah. The compromise on this is this door goes into the second bathroom. Yep. So just from this room, there's no access. What? Sorry. You can open it, but you but, gotta jump the desk. Yeah. So now you gotta do, you gotta go like this, <laughs> and you gotta go, oh, look, there's the bathroom. So, I mean, you know, it's like three more steps in someone's life. Yeah. I don't know. But Phil said he's okay with it, so that was yep. the that was the final word. Yep. So um, yeah. So that's the compromise. Yeah. So this is gonna work. So yeah. I'll have my desk space plus we'll have the second exactly. bedroom. Exactly. So she's all set up over here, just kind of dusting things off and figuring out how to, you know, configure on a different plane over here. And look, then you can she can look outside at the pretty little plants and stuff. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. I showed my pretty little prints here. Oh yeah. These are like some prints that I, my brother gave me and I just love them. They're mm -hmm. just um, Canadian geese and they just look so lovely in this room. I they just, do. I really like them a lot. And they kind of go with the bedding that we got a while ago. It's just stuffed. Which, which is like super stuffed in here. Stuffed in here. But it's this like toile, twile, I don't know how to say it, print um, from uh, where do we get it? Ikea. We got it at yeah. Ikea. So we did kind of gray, gray and white, gray color paint and white and it's just super easy. Yeah. So we're just going to use all the same bedding in here. Yep. And then, um, yeah. So. Oh, and, and we we've got, got, oh, we've got fireworks and sparklers for the grandson. So. Don't recommend. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That was that a was father a, purchase. Yeah, that was. I just found that out and I was like, I want nothing to do with that. <laughs> I am going to walk away from that bag. So we need supervision on that. I, you know, my dad's like 70 something. Is he 70? Yeah. He's, he's 72. Three? He's going to be 73 in a couple okay. of days. My dad needs supervision with that kind of crap okay like let's be real so he gets he gets um he gets this for the little neighbor kid next door to us down in florida too why someone's gonna blow their fingers off and it's gonna be all his fault oh my gosh uh. anyway anyway so we're here we're hanging out and um i don't know i'll check in when more things start to happen i don't know you got anything fun to add um uh, no no, I don't think so. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's kind of boring. We're, we're we're a boring bunch, guys. We're a boring bunch. Not not much happening <laughs> here. We're, in we're not months. interesting at all. Okay, yeah. bye. Well, hey, more exciting things are happening. So now I'm picking up the camera. Mom's driving. <laughs> well, we're, we're not, not driving. We're not yet. actually driving yet. Well, quick, but we're, we're driving now. We've decided that we're done with the crap food because everything around here, well not everything, majority of stuff around here is like fast food that's open. Um, Minnesota is now finally opening up a little bit uh, for other services, but um, Applebee's has car side to go. So we got some Applebee's, um, mom got steak and shrimp, yep. I got salmon, and dad got some baby back ribs. So we're going with that a little bit of a healthier option than like fries and a shake or whatever. So, um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna go do. So we're gonna do the like curbside pickup. Um, so we should be good to go there. So yeah, we're just we're just we're just trolling along the neighborhood, just waiting for shit to happen. Yeah, we got we get road construction. So yeah, we, we do. Wait. We do have road construction, and people either go like really fast on this road, or they go like so slow like molasses it's like one or the other there's no in between no in between so anyway all right we're gonna go but i'm gonna show you the food 
when we get back because we're gonna take it back and we might give dad his food. We don't we don't know. We haven't <laughs> haven't fully decided if he deserves it. He said he was working all day and he's been on the road all day, so he didn't want to go get the food. So he went, he went to visit his brother and then they yeah. went shopping. So. I mean it's been a big day. Yeah. It's so been a he big did day. Have a big day. Yeah. <laughs> Surprise. He'll probably be napping by the time we get back. So he has a good time with his brother. So he does. Okay. He does. It's a good it's a good time for him to get out of the house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anyways, okay, see you in a bit. All right, so I got some smush stuff. <laughs> it kind of moved a little bit. I got some salmon, uh, garlic mash, and broccoli because you gotta save the trees. Uh, all right, we got a salad, and Dad got some ribs and some onion rings, and Mom got uh, shrimp and steak, but with no seasoning. Because, you know, she can't she can't handle it. Can't handle pepper? No. Nope. Oh man. Is that disgusting look at that. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Alright, but anyway, I'm gonna okay, eat. So I am home. So is Doyle. Doyle's always here. It's like he never leaves. Um, yeah, so on my way home, actually I started my car and I have an automatic start on my car because Minnesota, you know? And my dash had my check engine light on and it also had like the car with like the little slippy things highlighted and then a light that says VSC off and it was flashing. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to look at my user manual. So I tried to troubleshoot it, didn't happen. And then it says if the VSC off indicator light flashes, which it is, it says, there's a malfunction in the track, T-R-A-C, and V-S-C systems. Contact your Toyota dealer and have your Toyota inspected. Yay. Oh my gosh, you know, that is just something I need right now is to go to the Toyota dealership. So I called my Toyota dealership. They are closed because it's 8.30, um, but I have their number now saved in my phone and I am going to call them as soon as um, I can tomorrow morning. So wish me luck. I hope it's just an easy fix. I don't know. I don't wanna go into the dealership, you guys. I don't want to do that, but I feel like I'm going to have to do that tomorrow. My day of sleeping in and not doing too much tomorrow is now going to be ruined by my vehicle. So I'll take you guys along, <laughs> I'll let you know. I don't even know if I can even get in, into an appointment at this point, I don't know. I don't know, I have no clue. So anyway, I'm gonna call it quits here. I'm gonna take Doyle out to go to the bathroom. I'm gonna grab some water and I'm gonna try to edit this tonight. Last night, I couldn't get it uploaded for you guys because my internet was so flippin' slow. I don't know what was going on, but clearly someone was having some sort of like internet party or something, I have no idea. So. Anywho, well, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the favorite mama for a little bit. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. Wish me luck on the whole car thing. Bye guys. Okay, I just, I, I know that I just closed up the vlog, but I just got upstairs and I'm like, okay, well, I'm gonna go on the website and see if I can schedule an appointment. The next appointment available is Thursday, June 18th. Keep in mind, it's June 5th. Um, I don't know. I'm hoping that everything's okay until the 18th. I don't know if I should be driving that way. I don't know. I'm going to call them in the morning anyways just to double check that I can drive my vehicle until then and that they advise that. I don't know. Also, um, I have a safety recall that's been sitting on my refrigerator for like a month. It's it's just, it's airbags. So, I mean, either way, I was just going to wait until I had to go back into the dealership to get that fixed. Because um, it's like the, one of the free recalls because they found out clearly something was wrong with it. So anyway, I put in that I wanted to get that done too. So maybe that's the problem. I don't know. I'm saving the appointment. I'm going to put it in my planner for the 18th, but I will call them tomorrow to see. But that just seems like excessive that it's that long for an appointment. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna close up the vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school.